Ciao friends and welcome to a new video from SQL BI. In this video I want to introduce a new feature of DAX Studio that is helpful whenever you have complex queries executed by the storage engine as a batch. This is quite an uncommon situation and it is worth understanding it a bit better. If you are in DAX optimization, you know that it's important to distinguish between the formula engine and the storage engine. Storage engine executes queries uh, whose result is then consumed by the formula engine. There are, however, scenarios uh, where the storage engine executes queries uh, whose result is actually used inside the storage engine itself. These queries are complex queries that typically happens when you have complex relationships and they are known as batch. In previous versions of DAX Studio, uh, DAX Studio did not report the timing of a batch the correct way. Therefore, you might notice uh, a higher value of the formula engine, whereas uh, that timing was actually to be accounted for the storage engine. In the new release of DAX Studio, now batch are uh, computed the correct way and uh, the value of the storage engine and the formula engine is a bit more precise. But I think it's worth uh, looking at further details in order to understand better when this might happen and how to read those numbers the right way. So let me show you that with a demo. As I said, this is not a common scenario, so we need a data model, a specific data model to show it. In uh, this data model, we have uh, a many-to-many -many relationship uh, between uh, customer, between customer and uh, sales. When a filter starts from customer and it needs to reach sales, it traverses one relationship, which is a one-to-many relationship. But then we have also this relationship, that is uh, a many-to-many cross-filter relationship. Now, this relationship is going to be resolved by the storage engine. But, as you see, it's a many-to-many cross-filter relationship. Therefore, whenever storage engine needs to traverse this relationship, it will need to build temporary tables. Now, these temporary tables are created inside the storage engine and they are never returned to the formula engine. Therefore, when we execute a query that groups by customer and computes values from sales, Storage engine will execute multiple queries, and those queries are uh, grouped together inside a statement that is known as a batch. The batch accounts for individual storage engine queries, and then there is some time that is needed in order to consume the values which are computed by the individual queries, group them together, and produce the result. The new version of DAX Studio computes correctly the value and it shows uh, the details of each individual storage engine query. Let me show you that with uh, the demo. Instead of looking at the model, we can execute a query using DAX Studio. Here I have already prepared the query. I'm summarizing by customer country and computing the amount, which is a, row, which is a value in sales. Therefore, the engine needs to traverse the many-to-many -many relationship. As you are going to see, this generates several storage engine queries, which are actually grouped inside a batch. The batch row that you see here was not visible in the previous version of uh, uh, DAX Studio by default. You could activate it, but uh, you had to do that manually. And uh, the individual scans that you see here, again, they were not so clearly highlighted before. Now, these scans are storage engine queries which are highlighted, you see that they are in italic, meaning that these are sub-queries of a more complex query, which is actually the batch. Each scan has its own duration. The first scan creates a temporary table, the second scan creates a second temporary table, and the third scan again creates a temporary table. These rows, 1.4 million, 1.4 million, and 1.8 million, are data caches generated by the storage engine, but they will not be returned to the formula engine. Therefore, uh, this is not part of the materialization, because these are temporary structures created by the storage engine. And then we have uh, the last query, which executes uh, the real calculation. 
The two columns that have been added are the parallelism here. So we have uh, the parallelism of each individual query. Because, again, if you take the badge as a whole, you do not have a clear indication of the degree of parallelism of the entire query. Here we have uh, three small queries, which has a very low degree of parallelism because uh, they are scanning small tables. And then when it comes to scanning the large table, the degree of parallelism grows because uh, we have a lot more segments to scan. And this additional row batch has a duration, a CPU, and a parallelism. This duration is 627 milliseconds that the batch used to consume and manage the temporary structure that have been created by the previous scans. So now, with these values correctly computed, you see that the entire query is executed in Formula Engine. If you were to execute the same query with the previous version of DAX Studio, you would see these, these 627 milliseconds accounted as Formula Engine, because previous version of DAX Studio took only the values of the CPU from uh, the individual scan, but it did not account for this additional timing that is shown only in the batch. Therefore, whenever you have to analyze uh, queries uh, that uh, uh, execute batch statements with multiple storage engine queries, the new version of DAX Studio gives you a bit better information about how to compute the values. As you have seen, that was quite a short video. I just wanted to introduce the feature, explain you when it might happen, and how to read the numbers the right way. It's quite an uncommon situation. You do not often see batch statements inside um, a vertical query plan or inside a complex query. But if you have fancy relationships like uh, bidirectional cross filter or many to many cross filter relationships, then batch start to appear. And uh, by using the latest version of DAX Studio, you have a better picture of how the time is spent between the storage engine and the formula engine. Enjoy optimizing DAX. <laughs>